Hello everyone, and may I bid you welcome to my channel and subsequently my first video. Here on Legend Lore, I sit back and draw cool pictures of D&D monsters, characters, items, spells, and whatever else, while giving a small but quickly digestible history about them. Together, we'll go over their origins within the game, how they're utilized in the modern era in addition, and how I like to utilize them in my own games. As such, our first subject is perhaps the most popular D&D character to have ever existed, the Archmage Mordekainen. An interesting thing about Mordekainen is that he didn't get his start in any premium book or preset adventure module. He was one of many characters created and played by the architect of our hobby, Gary Gygax. He had been the dungeon master for his legendary Greyhawk campaign and simply wanted to hand the reins over to somebody else so he could play, which is a feeling I'm sure that all DMs have felt one way or the other. But the all-powerful universe-hopping wizard that we know today was not a product of Gygax himself, but rather the work of his old game company, TSR, upon his ousting. Since then, he has appeared in a number of different publications by both TSR and Wizards of the Coast, from the Greyhawk campaign setting to the modern books of Curse of Strahd and Baldur's Gate Descent into Avernus. Long story short, Mordekainen is an extremely powerful, if not the most powerful wizard in the world, standing as a leader of the legendary Circle of Eight, a cabal of wizards dedicated to protecting the balance between good and evil. As such, Mordekainen is expected to be a grey character, who can play the parts of both ally and foe depending on the situation. Contrary to the old Gandalf greybeard wizard archetype, Mordekainen sports a Van Dyke mustache goatee combo with a completely shaved head. Although his original incarnation in Mordekainen's Fantastic Adventure was a tad more reminiscent of the former description. I've taken a bit of inspiration from that outfit as well as his more modern appearances for my drawing piece. Usually he is seen carrying his three-ring staff and wearing a mix of blue and or purple robes accentuated with gold. Though of course this can vary wildly depending on where he's encountered, such as his mountain man garb in Curse of Strahd. Mordekainen has experienced a great deal in his time as a mage and adventurer, including having suffered the loss of the Circle of Eight at the hands of the mad lich god Vecna. He has also attempted to traverse the plains to the cursed land of Barovia, where his underestimation of the powers of its count, Strahd von Zarevich, temporarily cost him his brilliant mind and a sliver of his sanity. In my games, on the rare occasion that he actually does appear, I tend to play Mordekainen as if he were a more reserved but neurotic J.K. Simmons. Like Tenzin if he took wizard levels instead of a monk. I keep him as a very rare occurrence due to my wish to avoid players buzzing him for every small problem that they have as he has greater things to worry about, and I absolutely have him rip people to shreds whiplash style if he feels like they are wasting his invaluable time. On the flip side, I may have him as a quest giver once people start reaching levels 15 to 20, where they can be actually powerful enough to solve the cosmic problems that Mordekainen deals with on a daily basis. I also often have him show strong disdain for the undead, due to the loss of the Circle of Eight at the hands of Vecna and his encounter with Strahd in the Halls of Ravenloft. This often has me having him commission PCs to destroy artifacts or hunt down cults dedicated to the undead Lichlord and to other strong entities in regards to necromancy. I also like to have him show up as a potential teacher for Arcana or Knowledge Clerics or Wizard or Sorcerer players, and I've even gone as far as to make him a Warlock patron for certain homebrew Warlock subclasses that I've seen, all of which I've actually linked down below in the description. Mordekainen ultimately fascinates me as one of the oldest historical figures in the game that we all love, built into the very bones of the hobby and enduring longer than almost any other character that I personally know of. I really hope you enjoyed watching this video as much as I did making it, and if you want to be notified of the next Legend Lore, please subscribe and click the bell icon to be kept up to date. Also, please leave in the comments your encounters with Mordekainen or your uses of Mordekainen, how you've used him in your games, and what changes you made to him or how you like to personally betray him. If you guys also want to keep up to date with the art progress, please do follow us on our social media at Instagram and Twitter, as well as TikTok. With all that, we appreciate you guys being here, thank you very much for watching, and be on the lookout for the next Legend Lore.